Hi, I'm Pat Kelly from Waste Knock Technologies. Today we're going to talk about post and rail fence. There's three types of post and rail fence that you can buy in the market today. The traditional wooden fence and two types of newer plastic type of fence. The vinyl and recycled plastic. The advantage of using the traditional wooden type of post and rail fence is that it's lower cost, but the disadvantage is that it requires a lot of maintenance. And in fact, if you don't take care of it, they actually rot fairly quickly and you incur a lot of cost in replacing the rotten fence. The plastic fences, like vinyl and recycled plastic, cost a little more initially However, there's much lower maintenance in the long run. To give you an example of why the, the wooden fence is not quite as good as the mo new modern uh, new type of plastic fence, let's take a look at this post that's made from wood and see how it's rotted over time. As you can see, this wooden post has rotted. It's got very thin on one side where the wood has simply fallen away from rot. Wooden posts are particularly susceptible to rot at the ground level. Where the post goes in the ground, water tends to accumulate and the posts rot quicker there than anywhere else. And if a post rots at the ground level and is some force is made to push it over, you no longer have a fence. Plastic fences are not susceptible to water rot. Even at the ground level, water runs off plastic fences just like water runs off the back of a duck. No harm from water. The color is all the way through this material so that even if it's scratched or cut or drilled, the brown color will show through. Plastic fences don't need to be painted. Here's an example of a white vinyl fence. This is a post from a vinyl fence and even though the vinyl fence is low maintenance. One of the disadvantages of this type of fence is that they're hollow and therefore probably not as strong as a solid fence. As you can see, this post has a hole all the way through it. Now, the recycled plastic fence that's made by Waste Knot Technologies is a solid plastic fence. Here's a cutting of a post, and if you look at the bottom where it's been cut off, you can see that this is solid all the way through. So this post is a little is, is fairly, quite a bit stronger than a, than a vinyl post because of the solid core. And it has the advantage of not being susceptible to rot as a wooden fence would. This fence is made with recycled plastic. You know, Mother Nature is pretty smart. She doesn't waste anything. When leaves fall off a tree, or when branches fall over, or old trees fall over, they rot and fall into and work their way into the ground and become fertilizer for new growth. We need to learn to behave more like Mother Nature and not waste our resources. At Waste Knot Technologies, when we make our fence, we take recycle, we recycle milk jugs. We grind them up, wash them, and put them through a process that turns them into this post and rail fence.
This fence is available through Close the Loop. Both Close the Loop and Waste Not Technologies view society's waste as a valuable resource. That's why we make this fence from 100% recycled plastic. We use post-consumer milk jugs as the primary material for making this fence. So I want to encourage you to participate in curbside recycling because those plastics that you recycle are actually being turned into a useful product. The life of a milk jug from when it's first made to when the milk is put in it until you use it and then toss out the milk jug is probably three to four weeks. That's a very short lifespan for a valuable raw material. Waste Not Technologies and Close the Loop take that recycled milk jug and give it a longer life, a much longer life. Thank you for visiting with me today, and I'll be seeing you again on the next video. Have a good day.